What up? It's your boy Bones, and it's time for your weekly movie haul. I still been uh, hunting for movies as always. Uh, I got a good collection of different stuff, so let's get into it. Uh, first up, I'd like to show the stack of movies. I picked it up at one pawn shop. Uh, the whole stack, I mean, it's a little stack, but it only cost me 434 but I mean a blu-ray and then the rest of the movies probably cost me 30 cents I thought it was a awesome pickup especially for the blu-ray which is this and it is the Incredible Hulk with uh, Edward Norton and Liv Tyler but it has the lenticular cover and uh, the green case you know so you're not gonna find this around that much and uh, I did pick it up you know maybe for two bucks what I paid for it but uh, I thought that was a real cool pickup I do own that but not this version so that was cool I know a uh, last haul I showed off a uh, better off dead and the uh, blu-ray is out of print now I did pick this up at uh, FYE and with my little card, it ended up costing me about 15 bucks. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I love this movie. I want to check it out on Blu-ray. So that was awesome. Now this movie, The Seventh Sign. Uh, I remember this movie, but I haven't seen it in ages. Uh, it does have a Demi Moore when she was uh, younger. And I know it has something to do with like... Um, the end of the world, uh, uh, something like that. Something about her baby. But uh, it's pretty cool. I, I don't own this in the collection. And I don't even know if there's a Blu ray of this. So um, that was pretty cool. Now, this was awesome because I do not own this. And last time I picked up the Howling from Screen Factory and the Howling 2. And I had mentioned that I have most of them, but I don't have the. The one where they're like in a carnival and i ended up picking this up and it's a double feature but it has what is that five and six and this is the the freaks that's the one that, that was in the carnival um and actually uh i went i did watch this and uh it brought back like a lot of memories like oh yeah i've seen it where um the guy the guy that runs a carnival ends up being a vampire and they have to battle it. It was pretty interesting. I did watch it. I didn't watch the this one, the the, the rebirth, but I did watch the freaks one, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that for the collection. Oh. Then I picked up this uh, random um, Man Eater series horror movie, Carney, with Lou Diamond Phillips. It was awesome. Um, Pretty cool for the collection now this movie it was cool to pick this up because I own the strangers but I have yet to watch the strangers pray at night and this was in that stack so I ended up paying 30 cents for this but uh, that's cool because now I could just watch it and see if I like it and then look for it on blu-ray so uh, I'm going to have to also start picking up a lot of 4Ks because uh, I did upgrade. So now I'm going to start, you know, checking out some more um, 4Ks. But anyways, that's, uh, this was the killer, killer 2-pack of The Strangers. And it has Prey at Night. So I'm going to watch this, see what's up. Uh, some random um, uh, cheesy horror. Uh, Low budget evil remains never heard of it check it out the mad with billy zane another uh horror looks like a zombie or a pop apocalyptic or something like that so add it to the horror collection i picked this up also in that hall so this this here cost me uh 30 cents about and it is the seven movie uh, leprechaun which i i own most of these but i was like yeah for 30 cents i mean you know uh might as well pick it up it's not you know it's not a big deal so 
Um, well, I mean, I'm not a big, big Leprechaun movie fan, but it's pretty cool. And I mean, it's all right. And since I'm in horror, into horror, you know, add it to the collection. Uh, I don't own this, so I went ahead and picked it up. That is Loch Ness Terror. Don't know much about it. Picked it up for the collection. Uh, I picked this up with the slip. Uh, I think this one cost me a buck, like in another pawn shop, or like earlier in the week. Uh, Deep Blue Sea. At first, I was happy because I thought this was uh, open water two, because I have open water one and two. But I don't have uh, uh, open water two. But eh, this is the sequel to Deep Blue Sea, which is another movie. But uh, it looks interesting. I mean, check it out. You know, you never know. Everybody knows Great White Shark is mine. So, add it to the shark collection. Now, this was a weird movie. I, I just happened to come across it. I mean, I don't know um, much about it. But it's a Asian movie. Dragon Blue. Uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't know much about it. But uh, I'll check it out. You know, looks like a creature feature kind of movie. Ooh. Now, I do own The Arrival, but I don't own uh, Arrival 2. So I went ahead and picked this up for the collection. It has the insert in there. But, um, you know, the first one's pretty freaky with uh, Charlie Sheen. And the second one, I have yet to watch it. So I should pick this up. I think I picked this up for a buck. And then I picked up this in that same stack. I mean, for 30 cents each. I think I own The Godfather, but I own, like, the special edition. And I just went ahead and picked up the three of them for, um, for shits and giggles. But it's Godfather uh, 1, 2, and 3. I think 3 had, a, like, a little card for the game in there. Which, uh, that was pretty cool. I, I don't own uh, 2 or 3, so... I'm not a big, big Godfather fan, but I mean, I like me some mob stories every once in a while, you know. Check it out. I picked up this uh, in that same pack, you know, 30 cents. The Missing and the Three Burials of Malquedes Estrada. Uh, I've never seen this, but I have seen The Missing with Tommy Lee Jones and Kate Blanchett. It's actually a pretty beautiful movie uh, directed by... Um, What's his name? Um, Howard. Ron Howard. And uh, interestingly enough, this movie has like a, a lot of like black magic and, um, you know, evil type of stuff. And it's actually a Southwest Western where it's more like in New Mexico or, or you know, the edge of Texas and all that. So, uh, but it has like some horror elements which are like pretty cool. If you've never seen that, it's a pretty interesting watch. That was cool. And then I, the last movie I picked up was some comedy. I didn't get no VHS this week. Um, there was nothing good out there. But I did pick up a comedy. I, I own this, but I own like a different cover. And um, that is uh, Norm MacDonald and Artie Lang in Dirty Work. Uh, I've, this is one of my favorite uh, comedy movies. I, I watched it a lot. If you've never seen this, check it out. I don't know if it has a Blu-ray release. I might look into it, but um, this is a pretty funny movie. You know, there's so many uh, uh, actors in here, I can't even say. You, you have Chris Barley, Chevy Chase, um, Jack Warren, you know, everybody's in here. But uh, actually, it's pretty funny. Um, this is a classic to me. If uh, you never watched it, uh, it's, it's pretty funny. Check it out. But anyways, guys, that's it. The only other thing is that I will be uploading the contest video tomorrow uh, on Sunday. So if anybody entered the contest and they want to see if they won or not, uh, I'll have it up there tomorrow. You know, I'm giving away that uh, Mesco 12 Collective uh, Michael Myers. So uh, see you guys on the next one and everybody be looking for the contest video tomorrow.
all the time with me, you know? Oh, well, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I also want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Well, for being a, uh, a creepy old man. I apologize, you rat bastard. You say those things about me, the rat. Huh? Let go! Get out of here, sir! Get the hell out of here! I'll kill this bastard! I can still hear you, you know, no matter how creepy I look. All right, take him.